Oh, it's sugar. Well, we're still learning how to cook here in the outdoor kitchen, the forest kitchen. This fire, because of our experience with the bread and not being able to get the oven up to temperature, rather than get some really hot wood in there and risk burning this thing, because I haven't uh, lined this uh, interior of this roof in metal yet, thought well, we'll just have a regular fire in there and put the pie in at the same time. Well, the problem is now it's too hot. So I should have removed the fire waited and then put the pie in and closed the door properly and had even temperature everywhere. Now it's pretty much impossible to control the heat because the door is open, this side's cool and the other side is way too hot. So another lesson learned. So next time, like I said, we'll remove the fire, uh, get a hot, hot fire first of all, remove the fire, close the door with the pie in there, let that cook, then let the oven slowly cool down while I do everything else. Because they still have flame in there, I'll have to remove that now so that I can dehydrate the liver so that we can make liver treats for Cali. Um, so I'll do that next. Anyway, that's cooking over fire. It's a bit of a challenge and it's a learning process. So I'm getting there, but it's going to take a while. Well, the oven's now the perfect temperature, so and there's just a little bit of fire in the back of it. So we should have, uh, like I said earlier, should have just uh, taken the fire out, closed the door, and had the perfect temperature. This little pie is not burning at all, and it's bubbling nicely. That the crust on top is not overcooked. So part of that is because there's enough heat now in the floor that it's radiating up, radiating up from the bottom, and not just a hot fire from above. So next time I'll have to do another, probably an apple pie or a pumpkin pie next. Apple and pumpkin pie next. Our Thanksgiving is in what, two, three weeks from now? But I'll practice before that or we'll, we will practice before that. And then I like to make meat pies too. Um, wait till deer season next uh, couple weeks deer opens. I probably won't get anything till later in the season typically. But I'll make some torchier pies, which is, uh, I make it typically with moose or deer and some pork. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, typically. Lots of spices. I love that. 
So by then we'll know what we're doing with this oven. Nice day, I don't know, might go down the lake and see what the sunset's like. Or uh, go for a walk through the woods. No bugs, so perfect uh, cool temperature, that's why I'm putting a sweater on here. And uh, just enjoy a fantastic beginning of fall. Today's the first day of fall. So next month, month and a half is ideal temperatures and ideal no bug conditions and uh, quiet. Nobody, hardly anybody up in this area. So really looking forward to it. See, she does something. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to join me in here, Kelly? You can't come up here, Pop. <laughs> Confusing, eh? Okay, okay. I know it's very confusing. Huh? So tomorrow my wife and I are going to um, forage for mushrooms. We've been finding quite a few mushrooms including these black trumpets. I found those black trumpets while I was out hunting for grouse actually and found a huge patch so we'll collect more of those and dehydrate them. Now tomorrow we're actually going out with an expert mycologist I guess is what the proper term is so we're going to learn about a few other edible mushrooms funny all the time I've spent in the wild in the wilderness over the years in the outdoors and I've always wanted to be more of a wild foods expert but um, I've typically focused more on wild game rather than wild uh, plants although I there is quite a number of plants that I eat too but Anyway, mushrooms have been one of those things I've always wanted to learn about, so we're really looking forward to that. So that's tomorrow. Do that, and um, like I said, collect a whole bunch of different types of mushrooms, I hope, and I'll show you those. I'll put that in another video, and then I'll dehydrate these in the oven and a few other things, so that'll be in a follow-up video. So I appreciate everybody tuning in and following along, especially with these more frequent uploads, but I'm doing a lot now. I'm uh, doing filming stuff almost every day here now and I like sharing that with you and uh, this time of year it's just great to uh, get out and spend every minute outdoors and uh, I like filming it too so keep uh, checking in right now I'm basically doing Monday Mondays Wednesdays and and Fridays and then on my other channel I'll put up another video or two on other days as well so I'm enjoying the schedule that I've been doing lately and hope you are too but I'm going to wrap this one up. We're going to eat this blueberry pie and uh, clean up and go for a walk or uh, go down to the lake or do something um, nice for this beautiful fall evening. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you up at the cabin next time. Kelly got some gifts this week from a subscriber in the mail and that's one of the uh, stuffed animals she was sent. It's a rabbit and it will not be long for this world. I'm sure. But uh, appreciate it Dorothy and I'm sure Kelly does too.